Hi everyone, this is a math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the following without the use of a calculator. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concept. The point to note here is we are not to use a calculator to solve. So therefore, for the first example, we have in bracket 2 1 over 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 0.5 or 0 0.5 raised to the power of 2. Starting with the first term, I'm going to change my mixed number, that's 2 1 over 2, into improper fraction. And that will be 2 times 2, that's 4 plus 1, 5 over 2 raised to the power of 2. Plus, likewise, I'm going to change my decimal into a fraction. And because I'm moving just one decimal place to the right, that will be 5 over 10, or raised to the power of 2. If you need more videos on how to change mixed numbers to improper fractions or decimals to fraction, check in the comment section. The next step is to apply the laws of exponent that states that if a variable or a number is raised to the power, the power multiplies or is being affected by all the terms inside the bracket. So this will be 5 squared because 5 has an invisible power of 1. So 2 times 1 is 2 over 2 to the power of 1 times 2, 2. I'm going to do the same thing on my right hand side. So that will be 5 squared. I'm distributing the power. Then I have for my denominator 10 squared. If I simplify further, 5 squared is 5 times 5 which is 25 divided by 2 to the power of 2, that's 2 times 2, which is 4, plus, on my right hand side, 5 squared, which is still 25, divided by 10 squared, that's 10 times 10, 100. If I'm adding fractions, I need to make sure that the denominator is the same. And for my lowest common denominator here, that's 100, I'm going to make my left hand side also 100. By multiplying at the top by 25 and when you're working with fractions equivalent fractions whatever you do at the top you do at the bottom so that becomes 25 times 25 6 to 5 divided by 4 times 25 100 plus 25 over a hundred now that the denominators are the same, I'm going to add the numerators. That's 6 to 5 plus 25 over the same denominator, which is 100. I have that as 650 divided by 100. I can change that or by reducing into this lowest fraction. I have 0 cancelling out. That's dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 10. Then I can also divide by 5, or I change it into decimal, which is 6,5 or 6.5. Let's look at the second example. I have under the root sign 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.64 times root of 64. Because I'm not using my calculator, I'm going to figure out to simplify or solve in easy manner. What I'm going to do for my fraction is to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 100. So 0 0.08 by 100 will give me 8 over, I do the same thing at the bottom by multiplying by 100, that will be 0.64 times 100, 64 times, then I have the square root, I'm going to note what I did here, I did times 100 at the top, times 100 at the bottom. Root of 64, the square root, that's 8, so I change this to 8. If I simplify further, that will give me square root of 8 times 8 at the top because this is a whole number, an whole number that's over 1. So that's 8 times 8, 64, divided by 64, that's 64 times 1. And 64 divided by 64, that's square root of 1, and square root of 1 is 1. So therefore, for the second question, the answer is 1. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.